The march toward an all-electric future carries on for the automakers. This time, though, it's Stellantis announcing a major new battery production plant. Local for Business Editor Rod Maloney is live in Auburn Hills with the latest. Uh, so, Rod, where's this new plant going? Uh, it's going to go to Kokomo, Indiana, which is where Chrysler's had a lot of its components manufacturing traditionally, particularly engines over the past few years. And so, as you can see behind me here on the, uh, the, the North American headquarters here for Stellantis, they're crowing about that. But there is kind of a flip side to this, and that is that the United Auto Workers are coming looking for a national contract, and this is decidedly going to be at front and center at the bargaining table. This new plant is Stellantis' third North American battery plant, the first two in Windsor, Ontario, Canada, and also Kokomo. Both Kokomo plants will joint venture with Samsung, and all three combined will churn out roughly a million electric vehicles a year. Stellantis CEO Carlos Tavares' statement today said, quote, this new facility will contribute to reaching our aggressive target to offer at least 25 new battery electric vehicles for the North American market by the end of the decade, end quote. Guidehouse Insights auto analyst Sam Amble Summit calls it an impressive investment. Stellantis, you know, three factories, you know, 50-50 joint ventures. They're looking at somewhere in the neighborhood of, at a minimum of, of four to five billion dollars that they're investing in these factories. Uh, plus what, you know, a similar amount from their joint venture partners. Yet these joint ventures greatly trouble UAW President Sean Fain, who said in his own statement, quote, we've been very clear that the transition to an EV future must not come on the backs of workers. The federal government is funneling billions of taxpayer dollars into this industry, and that money should come with a commitment to maintaining current union wage and health and safety standards in this and every EV project, end quote. Getting plants like like, like these new uh, these new battery plants organized and getting them under the master agreement is going to be uh, a critical thing for the UAW this year and over the next decade uh, in order to maintain and potentially grow their membership. And the reason for that is that a lot of the internal combustion engine plants closing down will likely mean job loss. And so trying to get the jobs up with the high level wage that the UAW membership is used to is going to be the issue. So they'll be at the bargaining table. Deadline is September 14th at midnight. Back to you. We know you'll be following. Rod, uh, what about what are we hearing about electric vehicle adoption and what that will mean to the industry? Well, you know, that's an interesting point. Uh, we're at about 7% adoption, which means 7% of the vehicles sold are EVs now. But the Biden administration has made very lofty goals of like 50% by the end of the decade. And so that's something that we're going to be looking at because all of a sudden we're seeing vehicles stacking up, EVs stacking up on dealership lots. Mm -hmm. And so at 530, we're going to be taking a closer look at all of that. Okay. We'll look forward to your report, Rod. Thank you.